Welcome to Easy in Trade daily video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar has managed to hold above the key level of 62.8085 and now puts a firmer step as all the eyes turn to today's monetary policy meeting minutes from the RBA. The Australian Central Bank kept its cash rate on hold this month as the new governor, Michelle Bullock, slowly settles into the new role as the head of governor of the RBA. All eyes will be looking in a fireside chat this week to talk about climate changes at the Australian Financial Security Institute. Also this week brings China's retail sales and GDP and industrial production. And beyond that, investors will be also monitoring the FOMC member talks. And along with that, Fed powers are scheduled to speak on Friday. Any clues from last Thursday's inflationary numbers, which, which were the Consumer Price Index, which was the CPI came in at 3.7 for the year. The market will be closely watching to see what the Fed has to fill or view about that. In light of the current rebound, the market is looking towards 63.45 and a cap around 63.95 to 64.5. Any pullback should again find a bullish response. Looking to the euro, the market is a little bit firmer. As you see now, a climb towards that down channel, which is roughly or close to 107.10.15. I do feel the market may need to see a little bit weaker play in the US dollar, although it did slip away from the highs of 106.45. Instead of 106. Nevertheless, a little bit more play in the weaker dollar could give further gains, and a break above this level, seen at 106, 10, 15, would merit a move up towards 107 to 108. Dollar yen not as strong, and backing away slightly from the 150 handle, technical somewhat buckled. I still view the bears are likely to defend, or at least be a little bit hesitant when it comes to the bullish case and therefore could back away, and we do need to see a break of 148.75 to trigger the downside to 147.5, and the base hold at 144.5. Sterling also a little bit more firmer on the uptake here, as we see view up towards 122.90. Any pullback likely to be shallow. I do feel the market is a little bit uh, more confident today in terms of the fact that the upside challenge may emerge. Gold, well, the Marabuzu candle well, didn't continue on and back it away sharply. The market has challenged the level around 1,912, but didn't continue. I would like to see a little bit more play to the downside and a close under 1,912 will give scope towards 1,884 to 88. A little bit disappointing for the bullish case, considering how strong this move was, and there was no follow through. So to me, I feel the market may be getting close to the top side of the range and a potential reversal. Oh, a little bit weaker as it retreats away from the 86, 80, 90 area. And now I feel the market may be actually looking for a pullback towards the region of 83 and a half and the base holding roughly around $81 a barrel. We would need to see a break above 86, 80, 90 to support any rally on towards $90 a barrel. But I feel the market is a little bit mixed here and therefore could see a little bit of churning towards the downside and then maybe bouncing back towards the top. But nevertheless, the target in terms of the upside is still likely to cap around 86, 88, 90, and let's see how well the support holds at 83.5. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me. As always, look out for the interesting report. I hope you enjoy the great start of the day.